good morning. We are in, uh, where are we at? Roatan, the Mahogany Bay on uh, this uh, not so pleasant Wednesday morning. We had some uh, things go kind of wrong this cruise. <laughs> Yesterday we came back and the room was open. They they left the dock, or dock, the lock in the door so our room was open so anybody could come in here and if we had anything to steal they could have done that. And then this morning we wake up and the beautiful safe is locked and we can't get in. So we have to have them come and reprogram that. We need the locksmith. We need a locksmith. I know a locksmith back in uh, the land, but I don't think he's gonna come out here. <laughs> he paid his way, he would. <laughs> yeah, I bet he would. Anyways, so we're going to hold off a while until we go on shore. Which we really want to go in short because they've got these, uh, we can see these sky rides out here. And we want to ride that and uh, have some fun. But I told them they should just go ahead without me and I just hang out here and wait. But they, they declined that. But we'll wait and hopefully we'll get on shore sometime soon. It's been about probably 20 minutes since I called. So we'll see. <laughs> They always hand me stuff when I'm coming off the ship and I instinctively take it. And she gives me heck about it because I take it. Well, I, I'm being polite. They're handing me something. You I nothing. No. Like Debbie. Nothing. Debbie's like, yeah, no. No, thank you. Please leave me alone. Yeah, casino chip you'll take, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Someone could try and hand me a hundred dollar bill and I'd probably be like, nope, because I know that there's more to it than <laughs> that. You're not, you're not too Why do we take the longest plank off? Whose idea was this? Yours. No, it was not. It was Jason's idea. I just followed directions. <laughs> He said uh, to me at one of the uh, shows I was doing, he said, you know, you need one of those gimbal things. Yeah, it's the thing that makes the camera not move. Uh oh. And I said, well, I wish I could afford one of those. You know, if you subscribe to the channel and, then, you know, help the channel get bigger, I might be able to afford one of those things. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right, Sandy? <laughs> So I buy magnets. That's that's like the thing that I buy at all the ports. I like to have those uh, just to you know show, show what I did. Day. Yeah. What do you guys collect? I mean, do you collect you know shells that you're not supposed to, or or what do you do? I mean, what's your big thing that you collect when you go into the ports from the different places? I need to go. With, see, I'm already going the wrong way again. How you doing? Nice to see you. Anyways, that's what we do. Uh, we collect the uh, magnets, and Sandy likes to collect uh, dresses, uh, coach purses, Not or no, coach. coach, what are those things? Louis Vuitton purses that are actually made in China. That's her no, big thing. Not made in China, made in Mexico. Made in Mexico, at least that's what the lady tried to tell us in uh, Cosmo. China only had COVID, that's what she said. China only had COVID? China only make COVID. <laughs> That's funny. That'd come from the lady in Mexico. <laughs> Back Tuesday is Diamond International. Hey, I can't believe there's another Diamond International. 
Every port, I think it's mandatory that you have a Diamond International. definitely has a different feel to it than some of the other ports. When you saying, would you say this port has a little different feel? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. No. Especially compared to Cosbell and uh, Coast of Mayo. And pretty interesting though, the way it's set, set up. Davidson of Roatan. Don't forget, Bike Week will be moving here from Daytona Beach to Roatan uh, next year, uh, starting in October for Biketoberfest right here in Roatan. Moving from Daytona, the mayor has declared that Daytona is not uh, accepting any more um, bikers into the city. So, you know, it's just the way it's going to work, folks. So, sorry to hear the news, but mo moving here to Roatan. about this place a lot more than I do home. I don't hear crows all the time. Back at our house, it's all you hear every day, crow. Six o'clock in the morning, crows are on the poles, just croaking away, whatever they do. Here, those, those birds are a lot more, uh, I don't know about that bird, that bird don't sound very good, it sounds like a horn bird. Map of the island. Amazing, 60,000 people live on this island. This place, uh, compared to the last two towns or cities we've been to, they're not pushy here. We like this. No pushy sales. Pretty active. The song came on in the place and we were walking out as it's happening 
And uh, usually, whenever that song comes on, Sandy has to go. She didn't do it today. I'm shocked. I'm proud of her. She's breaking her addiction. I wonder what's so magical about these things. Are they just a chairlift over to the other side? So here are the activities on the other side of the island, which we are on our way there, and it looks fun. Now below us, you can see the walkway. Now that's free to take if you choose that, but it is a 10 to 15 minute walk. Now the sky ride does cost money, but it is a lot more fun as far as I'm concerned. So we're proud of Sandy because she uh, usually doesn't do anything like this and uh, she actually is doing pretty good. How are you doing so far? So far so bad. Oh, good. A lot better than the ship rocking, huh? Yeah. Yeah, the ship is like this, like a panel. Okay. Good. Speaking of the ship, the ship is light over there. Oh, wow. Over this tree. And there goes the zip liner down there. Wow. That's crazy. Wow, look at the view. I'll take this over walking any day of the week. There's our ship. I believe we are the only ship in port today. I bet that's one of the private beaches that you can have to yourself right there. Now the captain has turned on the seatbelt sign as we approach our final destination here in the beautiful Mahogany Bay. So enjoy your day here at the beach. The hurricane hole over here, whatever that means, but it's, it's a hurricane hole. I don't want to be in a hurricane anymore. I hate them. Now, if you just want to sit on the island and eat and drink all day long, you can do that for sure here. For us today, we are going to take some advice from Para DJ, one of our favorite YouTubers. We're going to head somewhere special. Go all the way down to the bottom, the very end, by the pier. Yo, we, yo, 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 we, yo, yo. Sound like the bird wants to sing with me. <laughs> Just a tip for you that if uh, you see in other videos that you say you go all the way down to the end of Mahogany Bay after you get off the chair lift and everything. There's my stuff falling down. Um, that is not very crowded. It's crowded. <laughs> so 
So if you're wondering what the island actually looks like, here it is, right here in this little map here, telling you everything that's going on right here in Mahogany Bay. Now the tip is to go out on this pier here, go all the way to the very end and see where the lifeguard stand is very end. Get off out there and go snorkel there because if you go into this little area over here, there's nothing to see. It's all out there on the other side of that little red umbrella. Umbrella? Umbrella? Umbrella. Well, we definitely saw some fish out there on the other side of the lifeguard stand. It was a little rough at times. The current pulled us in the wrong direction, but at least we made it back. It was worth it. interesting this actually is made from recycled stuff that they found here in the ocean wow tires sunglasses kid shoes lots of water bottles for suntan lotion old batman <laughs> it's pretty wild i'm batman Star Wars thing? I don't know what that is. There's Papa Smurf. Pretty wild. Anybody need a toothbrush? The ship we go. Here we go. Oh, today we have a turkey. I wonder if he has a OnlyFans site like the other tail animals we had. We're starting to come back to the ship. We're going to be back on it at 5:30. It is uh, 3:42 right now. Oh, I see some people actually going back onto the island. That's actually surprising. You can see off in the distance, the loungers are empty now. A couple of people still snorkeling off the uh, side there. On the lifeguard, life, lifeguard stand. Can't speak. pier down there, I don't know what it actually is. I don't know if you can go on it or not. 
It doesn't have a cone in front of it. It just says caution. So I just wonder if you could actually go out and walk out there. It's amazing. The ship was sold out. It means there's over 5,600 passengers on the ship. Um, but it doesn't seem like it's that many. And when you look at them coming down the gangplank here, <laughs> there's a lot of them. So that kind of puts it into perspective that there really is that many on this ship. But the ship is so big, you, you just don't feel like there's that many people on it. Looking to see if we can get pier runners. So far, I don't see any. So maybe we're good. Although we still have crew down here waiting for somebody. So I think we might have a couple stragglers somewhere. Yeah, I can hear them talking. There's some people missing. So we're gonna have some pier runners here for a long. We're gonna have some people left behind. Yeah, here they come. We got, yeah, we got a few people actually. One is just one. I thought it might have just been a couple. It might have been a whole, whole excursion that was late. Here are our, our stragglers right here. Yay! So this was a fun day. We went to Mahogany Bay, Rotan, whatever you want to call it. It was a fun time. I enjoyed it. We got to ride the Sky Ride, which uh, survived. she survived. I know we uh, we filmed the whole thing and it looked really cool as we did it. And it was a lot to talk her into because she doesn't do stuff like that. Trust me, folks. This is a, a thing that we really had to work on. But she enjoyed it. and. Uh, we hope you enjoyed watching the video today. Please do hit the like and subscribe button before you leave and help us grow the channel because uh, we're trying to get to 1 billion subscribers by the end of the year. Yeah. <laughs> See, even those people there is, whoa, that's incredible. How are you gonna do that? With the help of everybody out there. So from the uh, great place of Mahogany Bay, we're out of here. Bye. Bye. Bye.